about the online do you think there is some influence from the influencer can they really drive the the growth for the online uh how about you Maybe last question, is it? Wait, hold on. Um, is there any last question? <clears throat> oh, okay, I, I have one question. Uh, what's your take on the 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 fake fashion uh, market? Uh, let's start with uh, Rohit. Okay. Um, how, how are you gonna help the the original? The, the authentics yeah you know very very easy answer for us so we you know we we're we're building a solution which we think could become um you know a significant advantage to online retail and so we just don't work with any companies that that sell fake clothes as simple as that i think um i think you know counterfeit is 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 a challenge in in every category right in fashion you know all the more because you have brands that spend you know, literally billions of dollars, you know, building their brands and, um, you know, creating um, sort of those set of values that a brand stands for. <clears throat> and, and to have that knocked off um, <clears throat> can be quite annoying to see. Um, from our perspective, you know, we, we sort of only work with enterprises. We work with, um, you know, we, we, we work with brands on a one-to-one -one basis. So we very rarely work with marketplaces that don't have a control over, their sellers. So the pro this problem comes into play when you are selling on a platform where you have millions of sellers and, <clears throat> uh, you know, the, the marketplace itself finds it really hard to regulate, right? Because even if you come down on a few sellers overnight, there's, 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 a, there's another listing. So um, I, I think it's, it's, a, it's a big problem for the industry from, from our perspective. Um, we, you know, we we only work with enterprises um, with with high street brands. We also work with direct to consumer brands. I'm not saying we only work with large brands, but um, yeah, so it's almost impossible uh, for for Pixibo to work with um, you know a company that is um, you know condoning that sort of uh, behavior. But the marketplace is uh, it's like they are allowing and uh, they're. They're not really doing the um, like to decrease like they're not doing anything like to decrease these uh, sellers, right? Um, you mean just generally in Southeast Asia or around the world yeah, or Southeast Asia? Because when I was in the US, like eBay's uh, eBay, yeah. they after a few years they started doing that. They ban uh, sellers who were selling. Uh, well, counterfeits, you know. Yeah, it's it's like that game, like in like the whack a mole game, right? Like you you whack this thing and it pops up somewhere else, right? So I think it's 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 very my you know I, I must admit I'm not the uh, the expert on 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 the subject, but I don't think you know uh, marketplace it's marketplaces who have the resources, you know, who have that sort of scale. I don't think it's because of a lack of will to solve the problem, right? I think the problem is just very complex. Um, you know, on the one hand, you know, if you're running a two-sided marketplace, you do want a lot of sellers, you do want a lot of merchants, and you can clamp down on merchants, but when they when they relist as another merchant or with a different name, um, I think the question is how quickly can you take down products? And um, it's 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 a challenge uh, and. Uh, all I can say is I I'm glad I'm not an operator. Uh, it's just, I think from, from our perspective, you know, for, for us to do what we have to do, we need really good data. So we, we work with brands who make their own clothes, who have access to size charts, to, you know, with really robust garment data. And, you know, folks who are knocking off products generally don't have that. So it's not a segment that we are that, that, that exposed to. How about you, Sandy? Um, I'm... I'm totally agreeing with uh, Rohit and a lot of things. Um, like uh, the thing about marketplaces, I mean, it, it, we, we don't face that, I mean, at least in Yunnan Co, because we work directly with brands as merchants. 
uh, we want to make sure that they actually produce their own uh, designs, their own clothing, um, and uh, you know. But but the thing is, when it comes to fake product or counterfeit stuff. Um, in Indonesia, um, it's it's they, they they call themselves marketplaces, right? So it's just it's if if you imagine on an offline kind of a basis, you go walk around in the streets in Kuta in Bali, let's say, right? You'll be able to find a lot of knockoff products as well, and uh, there is no one is going to like, you know, close those shops down, um, and 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 even if they do close it, it's going pro, pro it's 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 probably going to like pop up somewhere else. So uh, it, I agree with Rohit on that. It's just that. Um, you know that it's 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 not only the problem and uh, the, the the mistake of the supplier is that the demand side also wants this brand at a very cheap price and they don't mind buying counterfeit some of these guys don't even uh, probably realize that these are counterfeits and they just gonna buy it nonetheless so um then it that in itself is a it's it's a problem that's um that's that's uh, that's 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 too big uh, and it's it, and, and it needs to be solved from the uh, from the from from the consumer as well as on the supply side, but again, we don't we don't face that on on Unanco. Um, as, as a matter of fact, one of the issue that we find uh, because um, fashion industry, especially from the brand side, it's it's also a creative industry. So um, what we are more careful with is actually the brands that we work with that they are not copying other persons. Uh, design style. Uh, actually, that's one of the uh, trickier side of the subject to find out where, whether you guys are just like copy and pasting other people's design. You know that that's 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 more of a problem actually. Yeah. yeah. Right. Thank you. So, uh, last question: um, What are or or what is uh, your takeaways, key takeaways, as a founder that you can share to the audience? Maybe your experience. Uh, let's start with Zendi. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Um, as a founder. Okay. Um, so this is my second time building a company, uh, and 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 it's a very different type of company. In the in the first company, I built a digital agency. So it was it was very B two B heavy. Uh, it's it's quite simple to know when I'm going to be profitable, and it's it's and the, and the scale of the growth is very much. Um, <clears throat> Uh, predicted right yeah, you can easily predict that and and suddenly it's on the second run uh, of my second business uh, I, I built a b2b to c kind of a model and it's it's definitely a new challenge for me and i think uh from a fun um what i realized in the last two years is how important having mentors advisors and friends that you can actually talk to um Again, this is my second run of a business, and you would think that I know stuff better than other people, and I would say that I don't. You know, I, I, I keep getting advices, and I keep learning from other people. So, um, and 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 yeah, I think um, from a founder's point of view, nowadays I'm 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 actually belong to multiple different entrepreneurs' club and communities, and um, it's just really just to humble myself and open up my mind and just keep learning from other people and just keep moving forward. I guess. All right, so keep humbling. Yeah, yeah. keep being yeah, humble. That's, yeah, that's important. Man. <laughs> All right, uh, how about you, Rohit? Um, yeah, look, I've learned that it is a hundred times harder than it looks from the outside, right? So I think, um, which uh, obviously, you know, uh, Zendi, as you, you would know, as a two time entrepreneur, I'm a first time founder. Um, so is my co founder. Um, so, you know, I think there's this there's this romanticizing of startups and entrepreneurship that you see in 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 the media and all of that, and you have a lot of people just saying, "Oh, I want to be, uh, you know, an entrepreneur." So, I think the why really matters, right? So, like, know your why. Like, why do you want to uh, be an entrepreneur or be a founder? Don't be an entrepreneur because you want to be an entrepreneur, right? Like, so I think uh, so. That's on on the on the one side. Just finding out like this this journey is really hard, and just constantly. You know, toughening yourself up for that. I think most specifically, I would say. I mean, we, you know, we're a B two B company, and I think, I don't know, B B two B. I feel like is is fairly. Uh, it's you know, the rules or the rules of engagement or the rules for success are are pretty clear, right? So, you know, find a problem, solve that problem better than anyone else can, and you will have a business, right? And uh, on on the SaaS B two B side, the way in which we think of it is. 
if you can get a customer to pay you a certain amount of money to solve that problem, well, guess what? You can get 10 customers. If you can get 10, you can get 100. If you can get 100, you can get 1,000. So, um, so I think you know, know, know those levers in, 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 in your business. I think that, that's something um, we, you know, we've, it's taken us some time to figure out. And the third piece I would say is uh, know what you don't know. I, you know I'm, I'm constantly amazed by some decision I made six months ago. And I'm like, man, why did I do that? That doesn't make any sense, right? I'm just, I'm just sorry, completely. I hope my investors are not listening. Well, actually, you guys invested, um, but I think uh, that that piece, um, you know, one, once you're sort of into the into the sprint of things, you sort of realize that okay, there are you have to be conscious uh, and consciously aware of what your blind spots are, um, and then actively do something. Um, you know about that, which is you know surround yourself with an expert in in, in that field. Um, so I think that's what we've learned so far. I, you know, I'd say we are, you know, we're probably thirty percent through our journey. I I, I view Pixibo as a ten-year journey, uh, you know, if not longer. Uh, so that's the other thing. It takes, you know, it's ten times harder, and it'll take you five times longer than you think. So uh, you know, before you commit to that, uh, make sure you, you you know you know those facts. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, Rohit. Thank so you. So I think there will be the end of our uh, webinar today. Thank you, Rohit. Thank you, Zandi. Thank you, Rohit. Uh, Thank you, Zandi. For speaking uh, today. And we will send follow-up email for feedback form and AWS application forms to the audience who registered through Goers. Uh, if there is any more question, uh, participants can fill in form in the follow-up email. And stay tuned to today's uh, webinar uh, at our YouTube channel, CR News, and an article through uh, CR.com. And next section, next session will be Friday, uh, July 17th, 2020. And it will be how intelligence video analytics and location intelligence could bring an advancement for Indonesia. Uh, the guest speakers are Mehdi Fitrianto, CEO and founder of NoteFlux, and Martin Terpilovsky, President Director of Bumi Farta Technology. Um, so thanks again for this. Uh, thanks again to the speakers. And, thanks for having us. Uh, to the audience uh, for uh, attending our webinar. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Ari. Thanks, Ari. Thanks, Ari. Thanks. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Thank you.